Good day, Grade 3 learners. Welcome to our lesson for Science 3, Pointer 2, Week 7, Day 1. Our topic for today is Plants and Animals in the Environment. Before we begin, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you! Activating Prior Knowledge Here is the differentiation between one's needs and basic needs. Lesson Purpose Intention In this lesson, you will learn about the living things you find in our environment. Lesson Language Practice Everybody will find time to read the Lesson Language Practice. Reading the key ideas stem. Activity 1. What living things do you see in your environment? Number 1. Choose a nearby place like school garden, park, or pond. Split into small groups, 3 or 4 students. Look carefully at the plants and animals you see. Write down or draw what you find in your notebook. Think about how the plants and animals need each other and the place to live. Six, next you'll do an activity to learn about things that are not alive like rocks, water, and air and how these help plants and animals. Seven, we'll talk about the materials you'll need for the activity. Eight, work in group but answer the question in your own. And number nine, feel free to ask questions before we start the activity. Developing understanding of the key idea stem. Here are the materials that you're going to need. Part A. Your teacher will guide you to a nearby environment such as school garden. Number 2. Observe the environment. 3. On a page of your notebook, write a dot in the center of the page. That is your location in the environment. Label the dot me. The top of the dot represents what you see in front of you. Below, it represents what is at your back, and so on. Question 1. What living things do you see in front of you? Draw or write the name of these living things above the dot. Number 5. Take a quarter turn clockwise. Question 2. What plants and animals do you see? Draw or write the name of these living things to the right of the dot. 6. Take another quarter turn clockwise. Question 3. What plants and animals do you see? Draw or write the name of these living things below the dot. 7. Take one last quarter turn clockwise. Question 4. What plants and animals do you see? Draw or name these living things to the left of the dot. 
Here are the possible answers. Deepening understanding of the key idea stem. Animals live in special places called habitats that provide everything they need to survive. They meet their basic needs in this way. Food. Animals find their food in their habitat. Some eat plants, herbivores, some eat meat, carnivores, and some eat both plants and meat or omnivores. Here are the examples of the animals that are herbivores. Some eat meat. They are carnivores. Some eat both plants and meat, or they are omnivores. Some eat both plants and meat. Water. Animals drink water from the rivers, ponds, or rain in their habitat. Aquatic animals like fish get oxygen and water through their gills. Shelter. Animals use their habitat to find shelter. This keeps them safe from weather and predators. Shelters can be nests, burrows, dens, or caves. Air. Animals breathe air to get oxygen, which they need to live. Fish and some water animals breathe oxygen from water through gills. Making generalization and abstraction. A living thing's environment refers to everything that surrounds the living thing. Just like what you see in the illustration. Evaluating learning. Write through if the statement is correct and pause if it is not correct. Here are the correct answer. Great job today everyone! You listened well, shared your thoughts, and work hard. Keep up the good work! Always remember to read, learn, observe, and have fun. See you next time!